Number 98. Show that the ratio of the rate of diffusion of gas 1 to the rate of diffusion of gas 2, which is basically R1 divided by R2, is the same at 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is basically like a theoretical question. There's really not going to be much calculation here. It's just basically all explaining from uh, equations. Now, in this case, when they're talking about the rate of diffusion, right? The rate of diffusion just means how fast something is going, you know, passing, if we're talking about biology, right? Passing the cell membrane, right? From a concentration of high to low over a certain amount of time. But for chemistry, just know that the rate of diffusion, this is equal to the root mean speed, right? That type of U. Remember this from a couple of questions ago, this U RMS, the root mean square speed. So we can say that it's basically proportional. It's kind of like the same thing. So when we're talking about the rate of diffusion, we're basically just talking about this U value, right? So the root mean speed. Now, there's a formula for that in which we can solve for U RMS. And just know that speed, you know, is the same thing as f for chemistry regions, uh, reasons. Speed is the same thing as like a velocity and a rate. So all of these are just talking about a speed, a velocity, a rate, the R value. So we can say in this case that this would be the same thing as saying R. Now, the formula in which we could solve for the U RMS would be this formula right here. It's U R M S equals the square root of three times R times T divided by M. So let's just uh, pick some things out. Now, since we said that this root mean square, you know, the root mean speed is the same thing as the rate, we could just take this out and just say, okay, this is acting as the rate R. So now we got rid of the U and we have an R value here. Now, we just want to do rate 1 divided by rate 2. So that means that we would have one single thing for rate 1, uh, for gas 1, and one single thing for gas 2, right, for R2. So if we say that R1 divided by R2 equals, I have to put this divided by the same thing, but just in terms of 1s and 2s. So we're going to have the square root of something divided by the square root of something, right? Okay, so now let's just work with the R1s. So that's everything with gas 1. So it's 3 times R, 3, 3 times R times T divided by M. And since this is gas 1, I'll say M1 all over 3 times R times T all over M2 for gas 2. Now let's get rid of some constants. Well, the 3 is the same in both cases. That gets canceled out. The R's also cancel out because they're the same constant value. That's the gas constant. So now we're left with this idea that it would basically be um, the square root of T divided by M times 1, or, you know, M1 divided by T divided by M2. Okay, so now, how is it going to be the same at 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius? Well, if we plugged in a 0 for both of these, technically you would have to plug in the Kelvin values, but if you plugged in the same number, what's going to happen to the T's? Yeah, if it's the same number, they also will cancel. And, you know, if you plugged in 100 degrees Celsius, the temperature would also cancel. So any temperature that you have, it cancels out in terms of the math. So this whole thing now just equals the square root, divided by the square root, it would just be 
1 divided by m1, whatever the mass of that first gas is, divided by 1 divided by m2, and that's the rates. Maybe I'll put this in yellow. But that's the idea here. Show that the ratio is going to be the same. All you have to say is either this or just say that, you know, because you can cancel out the temperatures, it makes no difference as to what the temperature is. The rate is going to be the same because there's no more T in your equation. So it doesn't matter. So hopefully that helps. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Tell your classmates. We love to help them out too. I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.